having trouble with your sense of smell, there might be an easy fix for you. I'm Dr. Sina Jarabshi, an ear, nose, and throat doctor, and I practice in Pembroke Pines, Florida. And I'm here today to talk to you about a very simple method to try to recover your sense of smell. This method is called olfactory training or smell training. And essentially what it's doing is it's utilizing four different essential oils, lemon, rose, clove, and eucalyptus. And using these smells, smelling them over a period of 12 weeks has had positive results on people's sense of smell either after a trauma to the head in which they lost their smell afterwards or after an infectious episode. And I felt this was especially relevant now considering what's going on with the coronavirus and that there's many people that are losing their senses of smell. Um, this is a very simple method to try uh, and recoup that lost sense of smell. So how you perform olfactory training is very simple. You first need to buy these four essential oils, the lemon, rose, clove, and eucalyptus, as well as four glass jars. And you empty each essential oil into separated glass jars, and you have a lid on it as well. And over a period of 12 weeks, you will be smelling these oils every day, twice a day. So in the morning, you open up one smell, your lemon, for example, you hold it in front of your, uh, your nose and you breathe in uh, gently, basically normally. You don't want a forced inhale or rapid inhale. Just for 10 seconds, hold the jar in front of your nose and just naturally breathe. After that, move on to the next smell, then the third smell, and then the fourth smell. Then you would do the same thing later on in the evening. This is a very simple method to do, and typically we recommend you do at least 12 to 16 weeks. There really isn't any risk with this method. There isn't any downside. There's no side effects. It's either going to work or not going to work for you. That's why it's such a popular method for patients to try. Olfactory training is a well-studied uh, treatment protocol and it was first published by Dr. Thomas Hummel in 2009, in which 30% of his patients that went through this protocol did notice an improvement. There are also other studies out there that have done 16-week protocols or 56-week protocols, and some of them have noticed 68% of the patients that had infections recovered their sense of smell, and about 33% of the patients that had a trauma to the head had recovered their sense of smell. Everyone is a little bit different with their treatment response. Uh, personally, I like to use uh, the lemon, rose, clove, and eucalyptus regimen for about 12 weeks. There are other regimens you can read out there with different essential oils, but this is the regimen that I've employed in my practice and I've had good success with. Namely, I had a patient recently that was a sushi chef and he was having trouble distinguishing between spoiled or foul fish and fish that was in good condition. So he used a protocol and over a period of four weeks, he noticed an improvement in his sense of smell. I had a, a, another doctor come to me for loss of sense of smell after infection and he used a protocol and after two weeks, he recovered his sense of smell. Now this doesn't obviate you from a doctor's visit. There are other causes that can affect your smell. If you have polyps in the nose, tumors in the nose, if you have severe allergies, and we'd highly recommend you treat these first before pursuing olfactory training. Uh, but if all of that has been ruled out, there's no obstruction uh, in the nasal pathway, then this is a fine method to try. So for anyone that's been uh, suffering with poor sense of smell for a long period of time, anyone that's lost their sense of smell after an infectious episode, this is a very simple and easy method to try, and I highly recommend you give it a chance. I'm Dr. Sina Jarabshi. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions for me, please leave your comments below and look for more videos in the future. Take care.